Hello all. So in last video, we saw how to install SQL Server 2019. And while doing that, we also specified different parameters. So the very first parameter which we selected was we selected named instance and we gave the instance name as dgokte. After that, for installation, we specified SQL PRD agent as service accounts for SQL Server agent. Also, we specified SQL PRD server as service account for SQL Server database engine. After that, we selected mix mode authentication. We added SQL PRD admin group as SQL administrator. So anyone who are part of that SQL PRD admin group will, will be SQL Server administrator for that particular instance, basically for dgokta instance. Also, we saw how to configure temp database. We also saw how to configure memory settings. All right. Now in this video, we are going to download and install SQL Server Management Studio. And using that, we are going to see the connectivity with uh, the instance which we have installed, dgokte. All right. So let's first download SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio. So I have specified the link over here. And I have already downloaded this SQL Server Management Studio. So if I go to Softwares, Softwares, SSMS. So I will copy this guy to my VM. Again, I am uh, logging with my ID. Okay, so this is where we stopped last time. I will close this guy. We have completed the SQL Server installation. And what I will do, I will again go back to software directory. And I will paste it. I did not got okay it is getting copied now all right so it got copied let's start the installation we don't there are no more settings over here we'll just go ahead with whatever it is default Okay, I will keep this as is location install. Okay, and till the time this gets installed, let's find out. I will go to SQL Server Configuration Manager. And now if you see here on SQL Server service, so there are three services running SQL Server Browser, SQL Server and SQL Server Agent. Okay, now for these two uh, services, we mentioned service account, SQL PRD server and SQL PRD agent. All right. And this is the by default. Okay. Now let's close this guy. Let's wait for this installation. There are other settings also here. So if I go back SQL server configuration manager but maybe those settings we'll see in the next few videos so if i go to browser so it is running with sql prd this is the node uh, advanced This is the SQL Server version. This is the instance name. This is a named instance. This is not a default instance. That's why it is coming like this. Always available to use in the server cluster. All right. Still getting installed. TCP IP, currently this one is disabled. You can enable this guy. We'll see these settings afterwards. Basically, we have to enable these settings. We'll keep this as of now disabled, but in later videos, we'll see this. We'll come back to this. I will close this. Let's wait for this SQL Server Management Studio to get 
installed I think if I check my services as well, I should see SQL Server services. Yeah, SQL Server agent, SQL Server browser, SQL Server. We can also validate the data drives. So if I go volume one, data zero one, this is my instance name. Now if I go to data drives, see I am seeing uh, these are my default databases, master database, MDF file and log file, model database, MDF file, and I should see log file as well. Yeah, so uh, model log file, MS database is MDF file log file, MDF file log file, and this is MSDDB data file and log file. Similarly, for a temporary drive, so since we had selected volume 5, I should see temp database over here. It's temp database, so there are two drives, two logical processors. We specify two drives. Uh, each drive, uh, each file of one one gig each. So that's why the size is one zero two. I mean, almost about one gig, and the lock file. All right. So this is perfect. And uh, if I open look volume six, I should not find anything. I think I should find something in volume three. Yeah, there is nothing here. So we specified this for our user database. So that is not needed right now. And we should not find anything in over here also. There is nothing. Perfect. Okay, so let's wait for, okay, it's completed. I will close this, I will not restart. It's not required. So let me go to SQL SSMS. And our instance name is dgokte and since we had specified uh, that user group, okay, so I had specified, I should cancel it, I don't want. So since I had specified SQL PID admin group as SQL administrator, and since I am part of this particular group, I should be able to log in it. So if I go here, so this is the node and Windows authentications and I have logged in as uh, my user M Gokte. So I should have access to this by default. I should be the administrator. Yes, I was able to log in. And if I see here, I should see the default databases, system databases, all four. Perfect. And if I see, see SQL PRD admin. So this group we made as a administrator for this particular instance, dgokta instance. This is a named instance. And SA is the default user. Perfect. So uh, in the next video, so what we have covered so far is, 
So we have completed the installation. We also validated. We have logged into that particular database, Dgokta instance. So in the next video, we are going to install a cluster uh, on this node too. So basically, this this node will act as active, and we are going to have passive node as node too. Okay. So that thing we'll do in the next video. So thank you for watching this video, and see you in the next video.